Kenneth Arthur Katoa, good evening. The government has revealed its plan to turn around what it's calling the attendance crisis. Starting from the beginning of term two, schools will be required to publish attendance data weekly, moving to daily reporting at the start of next year. There will be updated public health advice so children aren't kept home sick as often, and a traffic light system is being developed to monitor students' attendance records. Green light, well, that's all good. Orange light means some interventions to get children showing up more regularly and a red light could mean fines for parents or other interventions if there are more complex reasons students are missing school. Here's our political reporter, Amelia Waite. A big ideas brainstorm with the little minds in the classroom. And what if you were Prime Minister, what would you do? What, what advice would you give me? The PM's newest advisor pitching predator control. Yeah, more possum traps. That's a good one. A worthy mission, but the Prime Minister's focus today was to eradicate another kind of pest, abysmal attendance. Attendance is a major problem for us here in New Zealand. Uh, the numbers are shameful. There's no other way to describe it. Only 46% of students attended classes regularly in Term 3 last year. We've got a clear goal. We want 80% by 2030 to be at school 90% of the time. The first step to manage the problem is to measure it. Attendance data will soon be published weekly, then starting next year, daily reporting, COVID style. We believe that educational attendance is now a crisis with similar long-term effects for New Zealand. Weekly reporting is fine, but we don't necessarily have all of the answers to why someone is away within a 24-hour time frame. It normally takes us two or three days to get that data accurately recorded. The COVID crisis approach doesn't stop at the data. Trigger warning, the longer term plan is to bring back a traffic light system. But the red light response will look different to students in different situations. Some parents aren't sending their kids to school because they have no money and they're sending their kids out to work. Others are not sending their kids to school uh, because they do have enough money but they wanted to get uh, a cheaper airfare to Fiji in the last week of term. Now obviously in those two cases, there's going to be a different approach from the government. While David Seymour wants to keep the COVID era's tools, he wants to drop the era's attitude to staying home when you're sick. For too long, we put public health at the centre of nearly everything. And while that is certainly important, we've seen the emphasis placed on education uh, fall down the totem pole of national priorities. And education needs to be back up there. Principal Vaughan Quio says school lunches are part of the attendance solution. It's not the only thing, so you're not going to provide a school uh, lunches and the attendance go from 55% uh, regular attending to 80% regular attending overnight, uh, but it is certainly a contributing factor if you don't have to worry about nutritional poverty. The latest evidence shows for underserved students there was a 1.6% improvement in attendance in schools with lunches. That equated to an additional three days a year on average of school. Seymour has previously said he wanted to halve funding, but today he said that didn't mean carving back access to lunches. There's a very strong chance that it will be exactly the same kids, uh, but there's also a chance that once you come down to surplus and wastage, uh, you find actually we can do more for kids in greater need uh, if we have a slightly different set of kids. Because cuts to a programme that drives attendance seems counterintuitive. Well, Amelia joins us now. Kia ora, Amelia. What else are we going to see from this attendance strategy? Well, the Associate Education Minister pointed to a recent concerning report from the Education Review Office that shows almost three quarters of parents are comfortable with their kids missing up to a week of school every term. He says we need to do more to understand why we're spending billions of dollars on free education, but it just isn't being valued. We can also expect to see a public awareness campaign rolled out soon with influencers like, like local heroes and sports stars encouraging children to get back into the classroom and to convince the kids that school is cool. Amelia Tenakwe.